Hey guys, welcome back. I hope all of you are doing well. So Samsung Doda is the winner of 2024 Mr. Olympia and very very congrats to him. But now we are going to listen Tariq El Gandhi, the chief judge behind this Mr. Olympia and now he's analyzing that how did he win this Olympia. So listen Hello, to him. Hello athletes carefully. and fans of bodybuilding Tariq El Gandhi with the Mr. Olympia. Samson Dauda is the 2024 Mr. Olympia. Why did he become Mr. Olympia? Well, let's take a look at his lines. He has beautiful lines. His shape is very, very favorable for bodybuilding. What does that mean? Small waist, flaring quads, large clavicle bones. He looks like he was drawn as a bodybuilder, just like Phil Heath, just like Dexter Jackson, just like Ronnie Coleman. Also, he has a lot of muscle. He's a very dense bodybuilder. He's a big guy. That has nothing to do with his height. He could be tall, but streamlined. He has added muscle throughout the years, and he has not lost his midsection. His midsection is still small, and he's very dense on the side poses from the front and from the back. His improvements, his back double biceps, and his back lat spread which many people believed could have been better last year, he did, he improved. His back double biceps was incredible. He really held his own against Derek Lunsford's back double biceps. And in the back lat spread, I think he beat most of the lineup. So he did improve on that. His conditioning was better, better than 2023. He came in a little bit tighter, we could see more separation. He is a very formidable Mr. Olympia. He's got the size, the muscle mass. He's got the lines. His conditioning is getting better and better. And his back double biceps and back lat spread are becoming a weapon in his favor. In addition to that, Samson Dauda is greatly, greatly appreciated by the fans and by everybody, by the kind of person he is off the stage he's not afraid to take off his shirt look right here olympia battle where he takes off his shirt and says this is a hundred percent british beef yes at the press conference he took off his shirt went on stage put on a show people love that even people that are really not into bodybuilding they start getting attracted by the art form when they see bodybuilders throughout the year taking off their shirt becoming commercial making a marketing of their image samson dauda is not concerned if there's a 13 year old boy that thinks he's not conditioned in july he doesn't care he's going to do what he thinks is the best for his brand and trust me he's doing a tremendous job i judged samson dauda in italy i was the head judge and he placed eighth. He had the lines, but he didn't make an impact on me at that point. It was in 2019 when I was the head judge for the UK championships. And yes, he placed second to Nathan Diasha. After the event, he was there with his wife. And I went on to talk to him and I told him, you are going to be a star in the IFBB Pro League. Samson Dauda gained a lot of mass. And he became that star, and right now he is Mr. Olympia. He's a great story of perseverance. He's a great story of believing in his own strategy. And I commend him for being a great Mr. Olympia. The 2025 Mr. Olympia is ahead of us. But for the time being, bodybuilding is really rejoicing a great bodybuilder by the name of Samson Dauda. Hadi Chupan and Derek, they'll come back and they are formidable Mr. Olympias. But for the time being, there can be only one and his name is Samson Dauda.